In this tutorial, we're gonna make these wheels not appear in here, but find them by scripting. Because if we add another card, another model of this, we can just drop it in here and then drop the controller in without having to manually get the wheels and from here to here. So to do that, I've already explained it a little bit. We have this game get objects. So the way we're gonna do that is by declaring and the folder that is gonna hold the wheel meshes. We'll just call it meshes. Or let's call it wheel meshes and wheel colliders. So we have two folders. Now instead of having these wheels public, we're gonna make them private. <coughs> but first let's get the game object. Let's first say public then we, we can make them private just so we can debug them. So let's say public game object wheel meshes and wheel colliders so these should be equal to these now the way we get them I've already gotten one like this one the center of mass that is a uh, subfolder or a child of this of this uh, folder that is mass right here so we're gonna do it similarly to this one so let's get the wheel colliders first say wheel colliders is equal to game object with a capital G dot find I accidentally saved wheel colliders let's copy this uh, name this string and let's paste it in here let's do the same with wheel meshes game object find wheel meshes here let's test it see if it attaches we have two game objects, two folders. Let's hit play. And it attaches to the folder. Okay, perfect. First, get the game objects, not the wheel colliders. Let's first get the game objects that hold the wheel mesh. Let's do wheel mesh is equal to wheel meshes right here dot transform dot find and let's name the first game object with a simple string with zero and we'll rename it in here too dot game object okay I forgot the to index this uh, wheel mesh we can also use a for loop but let's not do that right now Let's just copy this four times. Okay, we have the wheel meshes. Now let's get the wheel colliders. Okay, so we have this in subclasses. Now I've taken them out from their parent. So I can have a easier access. So if we remember our order, it was front left, front right, then rear left, rear right. So this is front left. We're just going to name it with zero. Front left front right is one next is two and next is three okay let's make these private and let's make this other one private as well and let's do this almost same thing but with the wheel colliders so in here we're gonna say wheel colliders or actually we named them just wheels so wheels in the index of zero is equal to wheel colliders 
dot transform dot find with index zero dot game object dot get component and we the component is wheel collider of course let's repeat that say one two and three one two and three let's try that Okay, we don't have any of those. We just have this slip. Let's try that. Okay, yeah, it works. So now it we don't have to drag them every time we need to change our car. Let's keep simplifying this. Let's make this a private and let's make a uh, header saying uh, objects and this header to appear in our uh, inspector has to have a first uh, first value or first object has to be a public public variable so if we try them with the private as first one it won't show up in here but if we put a uh, public variable right next to it save now we have a uh, header that says objects which clearly doesn't indicate objects so instead let's name let's name this uh, variables okay we have variables and now in the slip let's change the slip Let's do a header. Let's just name this debug. Because we have to get rid of this at some point. 